Hey guys, thank you for all being here. Come play with our worms instead of dirt for a little while. So uh, anyway, we're going to start with a little discussion about how the worms dissolve the poop, how they transform it into something useful. So they don't actually eat the poop. These kind of worms, the red worms, they have an enzyme on their skin and they crawl on it. And the enzyme um, dissolves, transforms the poop into something that they eat. So then the, the volume, the whole volume really reduces a lot and you get a really concentrated worm casting out of that. So one we've, we've dealt with, what do we do with our poop? We kind of shrink it, you know, keep it safe from the pathogens, et cetera, et cetera. And when we do have, you know, gut stuff that could make you sick, uh, it doesn't go through the worm. It stays over there on this side. So that is a significant issue about, you know, like the way we have our septic systems and etc. our rules in America. And I know a lot of you guys are, are professionals, so some of this stuff is pretty plain, but let's make sure everybody gets a little background in it. <clears throat> so we want to make the, the poop safe. And then the byproduct is some really great stuff for the plants. They really like the stuff that the worms produce. It was quite a long time ago, I actually scored an old worm farm. <clears throat> And it was, it didn't have any worms, but it had a truckload of worm castings. And it was just the best stuff for the garden that I've ever, ever, ever had. And I'm going to show you some photos that have um, <clears throat> my, I call it the bathhouse. So it's, it's got a, a worm digester toilet, it's very similar to this, half a 55 gallon drum, a little bit of straw, and a separate pea pod. One of the things you don't want too much pee in with your poop. Not, they, I don't know, they didn't get their life-saving certificate when they were young worms, so they, they don't like too much moisture. So uh, we'll separate most of the urine from the poop, and they just proliferate. I mean, you put a little handful of worms in there a week later, you got thousands. They really, really uh, grow uh, quickly. So there's the inside and the outside. So there's, here's the back. You can see there's a 55 gallon drum there. And here's looking in from the front door. And there's the toilet seat. Pretty, pretty simple. Yeah. Two, two types of gardens. One, root vegetables. You don't want to use it on root vegetable garden. You just don't want to use it. Okay? It's, it's you know, kind of a double layer safety thing. It'd probably be okay, but you'd prefer not probably. Um, once it gets into the roots and it goes up into a tomato, it didn't make, it didn't get there. So that's, you know, that's fine. This stuff digests pretty quick, but I, again, like to make it a, um, longer than necessary. If you have some way of testing it, I'd be interested in the information. But um, I will uh, either um, put it in a separate compost pile, mix it in with other compost, and let it sit for maybe even next year or a couple of months. And then that'll... that'll probably make it safe. Question? So um, if you're going to do a two-holer system, um, what volume you need uh, per person, per size? I mean, have you done the calculations on this? And then how long you need to let it sit? How do you move the worm from one side to the other? Right. So three questions there. Good question. We actually discussed uh, the possibility of doing a two-holer here just for that simplicity, you know, that you, know, you wouldn't have to actually um, remove it. You could... You you could just, yeah. Switch side to side? Yeah, because, you know, 20 years ago we built one of these and we had, had eight people for a summer using it. And we never filled it up. It lasted, we never touched it all summer. Now, <clears throat> a lot of these people were going away and pooping elsewhere as well, so it's not like all of eight people's poop. But <clears throat> certainly two to four people could poop in this for a whole season without bothering with it. It really reduces in volume. And a, a little bit of straw, but doesn't need a lot. Or I don't recommend salt. Kind of carbon in it? Yes, right. I, I, re I don't recommend sawdust because it packs a little too much. But wood chips that are like um, planer chips from a wood shop uh, or router chips, you know, chips as opposed to little powdery 
things. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, a little bit of straw, but it doesn't, it's not like you really have to cover it. Um, another thing that can be added is ash. You know, it really depends on how alkaline your soil is. We're already super alkaline where I am, so, but if you're up in the Northwest, a little bit of wood stove ash would probably be a good mix to add to it. Well, you can buy them online. They're 25 bucks a pound. They come in the mail. Um, I um, have a friend who uh, has a, a wonderful attached greenhouse on her house. And she's just, her son has a restaurant, so she has lots of ve vegetable scraps from the restaurant. She has a huge amount. You can dig almost anywhere in her greenhouse and get mobs of these red worms so if I do run out I, I just go to her but yeah you can just buy them online good question I my my first winter you know I thought oh well sorry guys I don't know what to do to I, I'm not turning the heat on for you and um, it froze solid and the next spring it thawed out I don't know whether they hibernated or the eggs hatched or do they even have eggs? I don't even know how they reproduce. But somehow it was still going. They like to eat. So if you're not going to be pooping in there, you need to have somebody throw something in there, some kitchen stuff. And we actually put kitchen stuff in there as well. You know, there's going to be enough airspace above this for two cubic feet of kitchen waste that'll keep them for a month easy a month. and you know if you got a garden over here it doesn't even have to be kitchen waste you know you trim off something over here and this little tomato is rotten you put it in there that kind of stuff to just you know keep uh, you know a little stash of this stuff mm -hmm.